All right. All right. Okay, hey, listen. If you face them, you have to make sure, right? You can follow me on Instagram. Follow me, message me, direct me, message me on Instagram. Mpwana underscore Wabantu. Make sure it has to be small letter, right? Same exactly how you spell here, Mtwana underscore Bantu. Also, you have if you have any query, you can direct message to my Instagram or you can email me mtwana wabantu at your gmail.com. Do not add anything like a car in you 1989. No, mtwana wabantu at your gmail.com. Okay, anytime. Now, let's get to the business right here. They say, Kelly. It depends on your language or your tongue. You can say Karin, Karin, or Karin if you Chinese or any language. Let's get started to the business. So let's say here, Karin has 3,500 saved for his retirement. So he don't have no money, but he decided, hey, no, he do have the money, this man. So I'm saving this uh, 3 million my retirement okay now so meaning he has a money so roughly you know i could use present value formula his accounts in so that's interest rate okay now per annum compounded half year half year meaning how many half year in a year there are two how much we'll be able to withdraw at okay i always say whenever they mention each or every then you know your formula is going to be either present value or future value formula that you're going to use but for now since he has a money already so we know we're going to use present value formula and they have given us the money that he said means the present value which is three million one two uh three six five he has already the interest rate we have our interest rate equal to uh uh eight point four percent and then it was compounded half annual how many half annual one year there are two what is the question now? That's what I say M equal to two. But if they say it was compounded monthly, then you say how many months in one year? They are 12. Then our M could be 12. But this is not part of the question. If they say it was compounded daily, you say how many days in one year? So the M could be 365. It was compounded every two months. Now you say how many two months in one year? There are six, so M could be six. But this is not part of the question for now. So this won't bother us. They just say it was compounded half annual. How many half annual in one year? There are two. Hey, but before we continue, make sure you follow this video because after this, I'm gonna count for this. So let me just go quick so we can just get done with this. Now, now the time is gonna take is gonna be 15 years. So time which will be presented by letter and number of years ago 15. So now we're going to use present value formula because we have all the information. So we're going to say present value formula equal to X. X is the amount that you either withdraw or you take out. But for this case, they say he's going to withdraw at the end of every six months. So the value of X, we don't know. Which will be using letter X. Now, which amount is going to be withdrawn every six months? X. So present value, say one minus one plus interest rate over m and then here you say negative m n and then you close the bracket you over i over m i over m here that's it formula for present value so we can put it in you say okay well so present value oh we have a present value we have a present value what is a present value three million equal x we don't know we're looking for it. okay now we write our bracket what is our i our i equal our i equal to no one excuse me one is one minus bracket bracket one is one plus interest rate we have what is interest at 8.4 and then we over how it was compounded it was compounded m m equal to bracket bracket negative negative m times n what is m our m equals 15, 15 times 2 because m times 5 times 2, uh, 2 times 15 equals to 30. Close the bracket that you over i over m. What is the i? 8.4 percent over over 2. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to simply plug all 
this in the calculator to get one value. So now we're going to say, get the one value here, and then it's going to help us to get the value of x. So take a calculator. So take a calculator, say fraction, fraction, sorry. Let's go quick so we can, okay. Fraction, fraction. And then we say, um, bracket, bracket one, one, minus, minus bracket, bracket, bracket one, one, and then we plus, we plus, and then we come here with fraction, fraction. Okay. So then we say, April 4, A, when, 4, shift, percent, let's go to the bottom, come percent, let's go to the bottom, we'll say 2, let me come close. Plus, plus, oh, 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 no, come back, close the bracket. Okay, and the power is power, and then negative, negative, uh, negative 2 times 5 equals to negative 50. Close the common, they close and say, oh, I put too much negative in there. Sorry. Move that negative and they come here. Come okay, remove that bracket and they go to the right and close the bracket. No, close the bracket and they go to the bottom and they go to the bottom, open the bracket and they come to the fraction. Fraction, they say 8.4, 8.4, and then percent shift percent shift percent shift percent oh, oh no 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 come here what are you doing now calculator just finish up please come back here so we can get it done we need to do another question okay delete that Okay, let it go. Shift, shift in the percent, percent. Yes, yes. Um, okay, divide by two. Now let's come and close this one, huh? Now let's come and close that one right there, huh? Let's close that one so you can get our answer right now. Huh? Okay, close the bracket, huh? Close the bracket. Let's go. Okay, so we got that one. Now let's get that one. So now let's get an answer. So this is going to give us, oh, 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 I made a mistake. So, okay, 16, 87, da, 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 16, I would say 16, uh, 87, 97. Okay, let me write down here, 16, 16, 20, 87, 97, 4, 87. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this value here, which is 300, because, let me do this, so, all this stuff, we get the value. So all this stuff equal to, so we can simply say, look, we got three here. One, two, three, six, five. Equal to X times the value which you got, which is 16. Pen at a seven. At a seven, not a four, at a seven. At a seven. So how are we going to get X? To get X here means we must divide by 16 point at a seven, nine and four at a seven. And throughout 16, uh huh? 37, huh? 94, huh? 37, huh? Listen, this concept. So the value of x equal. So we're gonna come here and say, huh? Let's get the answer right now. Okay. Let's get an answer here. So cancel all this stuff. Come to the fraction and say, wow, wow, wow. Let's get an answer. Let's get the answer, baby. Okay. Come here, fraction, fraction. Uh, three million. One, two, three, six, thirty, six, fifty. Okay. Guess which is gonna be the answer here. Let's guess which is gonna be the answer. Sixteen. <laughs> which is gonna be the answer? Guess. Let me guess. I think the answer is going to be number, I don't know. Wow, let's see. 
let me see. I think one or two. One, mm, let me say one. Let me say one. Because if I don't succeed, divided by 16 is going to be. Yeah! I told you, boy. Yeah! I told you. You see that? <laughs> so the answer is going to be the first one. Now, let's go to the question number two. But hey, I don't want to make the question very long, but let's go to question number two. So question number two, they say, question number two, they say, Aziz is planning, Aziz is planning to attend a college when she graduated from high school. Four years from now, or oh, the time, it could evolve. Okay, so she made her arrangement with her father to do the household, you know, stuff like, okay, do this, baby, baby, do this. If you do this, I'll pay for your fees. She said, okay, daddy, I want to do so if her daddy deposit this amount at the university after Aziz do all those tasks at home, so daddy said, I'm going to put this amount at the end of every six months, every six months. So the moment you see the word every, every, then you know your formula is going to be either present value or future value. But now we don't know. But this amount, whenever they say every, 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 that's a represent X. So the X amount equal to 3, 5, 7. There is gonna deposit after every six months. Okay. Our time n equal to or n represent number of years or is the day. Number of years equal to four. Now let's go. Now let's say uh the interest rate we got or interest rate equal to 0.5. Okay, but her father pays additional of that one into the account. Forever. So each amount that he's gonna put this on, you know what? Let me add extra. So he's gonna put this on top of it. So it's still x plus that one. You see what I'm saying? So because every amount is gonna put this on, is gonna also add with that. Now they say the third face deposit is gonna make after six months. After six months, let's see how it is compounded. Eight point five interest was compounded semi annual. How many semi you have in one year? Means the value of M. M is like how it was compounded, but it was compounded semi annual. How many semi you have in annual? Annual means one year. How many half? Semi means a half. You have a two. So our semi is going to be two, means the value of M on how it was compounded. Sometimes they will say it was compounded daily. Now you say for daily, you know, is how many days in one year? 365. Always ask yourself whatever they mention in one year. When it was compounded monthly. How many months in one year? There are 12. It was compounded uh, quarterly. How many quarter in one year? There are four quarters. Let me see. Three, three months, three months. You say M equal to four. It was compounded every uh, uh, every two months. How many two months in one year? There are six. So it's all depending on the question. But for now, they say it was compounded semi annual. For semi annual, you say how many half? Semi means a half in one year. There are two. So M equal to two. Okay? Now, what do you want? The face deposit is gonna make after six months. They say how much money will there be in account after Aziz pay for her college? Her college is gonna be four years from now. So Aziz don't have no money, but we know that dad is gonna be paying this amount. Let's do this. There's gonna be paid this amount. We can add them together. Okay, zero plus zero equal to zero. Okay, five plus seven equal to twelve. We'll go with one. Okay. Now, 5 and 5, 10, and that one is going to be 11. we we'll go with 1, 5, and 3 equal to 8, and that one equal to 9. So, this is going to be amount that is going to be positive. We'll represent using this letter X in total. Now, we want to get the future amount that as this is very old, as this is going to pay after 4 years. So, then we know this is going to be future value formula because of the situation. They say every and also Aziz and the daddy they don't have that O amount right now. So we're gonna use the future value formula. The future value formula says future value F B equal to uh, uh X bracket one no bracket excuse me one plus interest rate interest rate over M times M N minus one. It looks like a present value, but it's not the same. You see, one is the other way, and present value here there's a negative here, there's no negative, and then one comes this up. So make sure you remember what the two formula. Okay. Uh, uh. So now we're gonna plug in a formula. So plug here. So we're gonna say now uh future value we're looking for that as this debt is gonna pay or as this is gonna pay up the four years equal to so we can simply plug this, okay? Plug this, okay. Let me do this. So we say future value. 
equal to x we have 9120 okay okay bracket 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 one one plus i over n what is the i value of i we got 8.5 over m what the value of n two because that's how it's compounded two okay m times n m n equal to four and m equal to two so when you multiply this two is going to give you equal to eight minus minus one over 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 i is 8.5 percent percent over m what is the m our m equal to how it is compounded two sometimes look some people they don't like like that if somebody say eight they don't write like that over two they can say this equal to for example they can say 8.5 over these two and this percentage they take to the bottom so it's going to be two times 100 that's another way of writing you understand what i'm saying so pay attention to that right sometimes it can be written like if somebody say three percent this equal to three over 100 so just know that okay like here for example somebody will say eight percent and then i can take this 100 to the bottom so it's going to be two times 100 that's another way so don't say why are you always write like that what is the same thing okay so what we're going to do right now we're going to plug in the calculator right Take a calculator, plug it in. Take a calculator, plug it in. Plug in the calculator right now. Let's plug this in the calculator and get the answer. Huh? Let's plug it, get the answer. Okay, so we're gonna say fraction, fraction. Now we're gonna say uh nine, one, twenty. Bracket, bracket. Bracket in another bracket because there's two bracket one 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 in the plus is plus they come here say fraction say fraction then on top is gonna be eight point five you see oh yes eight point five eight point five and the shift G shift percent percent okay come to the bottom come to the bottom bracket two bracket two you come to the right it's coming slowly but I'm just keeping tight okay close the bracket to close the bracket to write the power power okay eight eight okay come to the right go to the right minus minus one one and then close the bracket you do exactly what you see close the bracket and then go to the bottom go to the bottom open your bracket open your bracket and 8.5 and 8.5 8.5 and 8.5 put your five put your five shift shift percent hey percent percent go to the bottom go to the bottom no no put the fraction put the fraction put a fraction put a fraction why is freezing? Uh, come on now. In a moment. Okay, yes. Get it. Okay, bracket, bracket. Go to the right. And close the bracket. Close the bracket. And get an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's get an answer. So this. Oh, so option number one. So you can see because that one, if you approximate, it's going to be 86. Because remember, next to that next to that point nine nine is going to change that part to become six approximation so option one is the closest answer and hey this is the hey for that being said subscribe man leave the comments below very very important so i know that i'm a beautiful family who are watching this video so i can feel like okay there are people who learn for my my thinking process but hey you learn from me i learn from you you learn from me and I learned from you. Bye. I'm going to see you soon. Follow me on Instagram. You can see the program we have. We feed the homeless, you know. And we help a system brother, man, to stand on their own two feet. Also, on Twana, on Instagram, it's in Twana, underscore Bantu. Also, on Twitter, in Twitter or Twitter. In other language, like China, say Twitter, Twitter. Okay. In Japanese, also Twitter. In Africa, Twitter. In America, other place, Twitter. See? So, Follow me on Twitter as well, you know, in Prana, uh, Wabantu, also on Twitter, and on Facebook, in Prana, Wabantu Academy, okay, on Facebook. You must be spacing between. Thanks a lot for your time, man. I'll see you soon. My name is Prana. Yeah. I told you, baby. Bye. Ease, i